Howdy y'all and welcome to In His Image Homemaker. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a homeschooling mama to six beautiful babies. My oldest is 16 and my youngest is two. Um, today I have a food pantry haul for you. So this local food pantry that we go to, it's in a small little church and they let you come twice a month and you get to shop and say yes to things that you want and no to things that you don't. So it's really just such a huge blessing for us. Um, some of you are familiar with the health journey we have been on. And so there are a lot of things that we are no longer eating. Some things we're just eating in moderation. Um, and some things we still just eat. So anyway, I'm going to jump right in here and show you guys what we were blessed with today. All right, so we'll start with this. My kiddos are obviously super excited about this. Um, she wanted to give me a couple boxes, but there are eight cones in them. And like I said, I have six kiddos, so we'll just do one per kid. And then my husband will probably have one. And there will be one left over. So I don't know if the baby will eat them or not, but it'll be a nice little treat for him. She had a bunch of different kinds of coffees. So I got that organic Ethiopia kind there. They are beans, so they'll have to be ground, which at my husband's work, he has a bean grinder, so that works. And then I got a French roast and an Italian roast. And then these decaf house blends, I picked those up for the kiddos. I thought maybe they would enjoy that. I mean, they drink decaf coffee every now and then, um, but we don't, we don't have it often. So they'll enjoy that. And then that cream brulee, thought we would try that. And then these two teas, let's see, Senna peppermint and honey lavender. So we do drink a lot of teas. Um, I know the one is caffeine free. I think the other one probably has a little bit of caffeine in it. So, okay, I'll jump up here. So we got these popcorns, these popcorns, and then tortilla chips, which the tortilla chips are always a blessing because we have Mexican type food once a week. So um, we're actually having it tomorrow night. So that'll be nice. Um, popcorn, more popcorn. This sweet and salty pretzel pieces. Thought that looked good. That'll be a good snack. I'll just split this bag between mm, either five or six of them. And then these lime jalapeno chips. My kiddos love those. Okay. Um, we also got this green banana flower. I'm not quite sure. She kind of convinced me to take it. There's a recipe on the back, so I thought we could try that. Um, but if you have any good recipes for that, let me know. She had a bunch of peppers and tomatoes. So I got two of the cherry peppers. I got a few of these little bell peppers, which my kiddos love those. So we'll just put those out for fresh veggies to snack on. These will either go for a salad or uh, to snack on. I got three of these bigger tomatoes. Um, we'll put those on cheeseburgers probably. Eight apples and then some of those Roma tomatoes. So my kiddos are pretty excited about this cereal. We haven't had cereal in quite some time, um, but the ingredients seemed safe for us. And so this will just be a special treat that they probably won't have it for breakfast because, well, it just doesn't fill them and they'll be hungry soon. So we'll just have it for snacks. Okay. Um, this red lentil pasta, super good. She gave us four boxes of those because she said nobody's taking them, but it's delicious. We really like them. And then I got four boxes of these mac, mac and cheese. Um, that'll be two meals worth. We'll probably have those for lunch or something. I always like to have spaghetti noodles on hand just because we use them for butter noodles or spaghetti, obviously. Um, this was just a bag of noodles. Um... Okay, so two taco seasonings, two turkey gravy, and two chicken gravy. I got two of these peanut butter, which we go through a lot of peanut butter. And then this is garlic olives. So I have one kiddo that I know will probably like that. Two applesauce. You can never have enough applesauce. It's a great snack. Um, two of these sourdough breads, which I make sourdough, so i was excited to see that but we'll probably use these for pizza like cut them in half and then do pizza um okay so i got two of these power seeds and then one of the 12 grain again we don't use a whole lot of bread especially because i make most of our bread product products um but i got this for just like some quick and easy meals we'll maybe do some ham sandwiches or things like that this we use for cheeseburgers 
Okay, kiddos were super excited about this. Um, so this is ginger root beer and black cherry. We just really drink water throughout the day. Um, they get a special drink on Saturday nights when we have our pizza. And so I'm sure they'll be looking forward to that. And they'll just split these and maybe even those. I'm not sure. And then we got two kiwi strawberry and two, oops, sorry, lemon blackberry. So again, this will be split either two or three ways. Um, she gave us eight of these little milks and then an oat milk, which will be great. Um, five of these, I believe, little yogurts. So this is four pounds of venison, which we uh, do deer, so that's exciting. Uh, look at these all beef hot dogs. I've never had these. Never heard of them, really, so that'll be good. Um, I got some, our baby's already gotten into one, but some of these pouchy things, which he gets always super excited for those. Um, we actually got three of those. She had a whole bunch of those trying to get rid of them. And then these crunchy giant corn. These are so good. Um, so she gave us some of those. Some mayonnaise, which we can always use mayonnaise. This is just a big old thing of pineapple. So I'm not sure exactly what we'll do with this, but it's huge. <laughs> um, okay, so we got apple cider vinegar and then some canned goods. Not a whole lot because I still have a lot of stuff from our garden, but I got some spaghetti sauce, green beans, peas, chicken noodle soup just to have on hand in case I don't have any made in a pinch, and then garbanzo beans. So we were blessed with all kinds of stuff today, as you can see. So for those of you who are needing help or need to stretch the budget, especially with the holidays and everything, definitely look up your local churches, see if they have a food pantry or, I mean, groceries are just so expensive. So if it can help stretch your budget, then by all means, I say go for it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And like I said, if you have any tips or tricks on how to save money and how to make good, healthy, nutritious food out of some of this stuff, then please leave it in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. God bless.